spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of sport, the thrill of victory, and the agony of defeat. The human drama of athletic competition. This is ABC's Wide World of Sports. Do you remember that introduction to ABC's weekly sports program, The Wide World of Sports? The phrase, the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat still finds its way into our athletic lexicon. Among the early heroes highlighted by the wide world of sports was Julie Moss in the 1982 Ironman Triathlon. Her story began during her senior year of college. After watching the 1981 triathlon in Hawaii, she decided to give it a try. One minor detail, she had never even run a marathon, much less after swimming two and a half miles and biking 112 miles. Although brand new to the sport, five miles into the marathon, Julie Moss found herself in first place. As the leader, with a good pace, and being a no-name newcomer, the camera crews began to follow her every step. At the 16 mile mark, the second place competitor was only eight minutes behind, so she picked up her pace. But at the 20 mile mark, Julie Moss hit a wall. Her body started shutting down. And with only a few hundred yards remaining of the 140 mile water and land journey, she fell to the ground. Close enough to see the finish line, less than one time around a track. She sat for three minutes, trying different ways to get back to her feet. And finally she did, but she went too fast and fell again. By now, every camera on the course was focused on Julie, including those of ABC's Wide World of Sports. With less than 100 yards left, race volunteers tried to help her up, but she fought them off to avoid disqualification. The cheering crowd of spectators brought her to her feet one final time, walking like the earth was shaking beneath her feet. A narrow path lined by people created a, a bowling alley effect with the bumpers up and Julie was the ball. With less than 100 yards, Kathleen McCartney was closing fast. And with millions watching, what became a defining event in this new sport, Julie Moss fell to the asphalt one final time, just 15 feet short of the finish line. In shocked silence, there was no celebration as Kathleen McCartney broke the finish line tape. Only stunned admiration as everyone watched Julie Moss crawl the final 15 feet, collapsing with only her left hand across the finish line. Eyes closed, smiling. Julie Moss shows us what it looks like to physically do what the Apostle Paul encourages us to do spiritually. He says, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, press on toward the goal. These are the words of Paul in Philippians 3 about what it looks like to turn to joy that experience of life that rises above both the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. So I hope you'll join us this Sunday in worship at 8, 9, and 1045 for our next installment of our Turn to Joy series. Leslie Nugent and the Parables community will be live on Facebook at 1030 a.m. So we hope to see you in church. Be well.